guys, the Mr. Mara here, and I remember um, that, remember that video I uploaded showing you the memorizer. Well, a few people said they didn't really understand, and I didn't explain too well. So I'm coming at you with an extra video just to show you um, uh, what well, to expand on my explanation of the memorizer. So basically, let's start off from the beginning. You have an input here and an input here. Basically, to activate the memorizer, make sure both of those inputs are activated at the exact same time. That means the memorizer will now be permanently on until the player deletes the tag. Uh, the memorizer can have a name, so if it has the name label, uh, well, sorry, if it, ha if it has the name label test, then um, if you were to name another memorizer in a different level that you published test, then it would be um, then it would be activated in that level as well. So it's kind of cross level, uh, which is nice if you're doing multiple um, levels with uh, the same level idea. If you understand what I mean, so if you're linking levels together, it's nice. <clears throat> so another thing, uh, what this could be used for? I'll show. You, I'll give you an example so you get a bit more detail in what it means. This uh, this will always be on once it's set off. So if I left a level, played another level, went on to the level again, this would be set off still. Um, so this output would be active. So then this would be turned on because you know I I've plugged the um, output into the input of the counter, and then it would give the user points. So it gives them a score of. 100. So every time they um, join the level, they will get 100 points. So if they left, joined again, they'd have 100 points again. So what you could do is make a combination of this. So let's sh let's show you quickly how what I mean. So it detects the points. So if um, the player has 100 points, and then they leave, and they join again, they'll have 100 points again. So that's what we're planning to do with this logic. So, this will detect if the player has 100 points. So if they have 100 points, uh, anyone has 100 points, let's just do that for now, then this and this will be activated. I mean, the test chip will turn on and this will be active and they'll, whenever they leave and join again they will have 100 points back with them so then if we wanted to do it if they had 200 points we'd copy this and set them to 200 that wasn't 200 Theo and the same for the give so now they would receive 200 points uh, but one thing you would want to do is um, make sure these are in microchips. Uh, that way, they wouldn't get 300 points from this because you know they're, they're all active. What you'd have to do though is uh, rename the memorizers. Uh, so you could call this one 100 points. You could call this one 200 points, so they don't get mixed up and both set off and give you 300. But what you could do is bring this, these, uh, these parts into here. So oh, let's quickly bring this down. Bring it there. And what you'd want to do is if they have 200 points, you would want it to not bring this up. Not gate you'd want it to not activate this logic. And you'd do the same for the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and so on. So if they have 100 points, then they leave, they will come back and have 100 points. If they leave, they get 200 points. This isn't complete logic, it, won't, it probably won't work, it's just to give you an example of how it works. And I apologise for the bad tutorial before, and hopefully this helps you understand a tiny bit more and hopefully the quality was a lot better on this video and now I've said that it went a bit worse but whatever hopefully it helps and I will see you in the next one peace